I've got five brand new to me models that I'm ready to unbox with you. My first custom, my first connoisseur model of two Gambler's Choice models and my very own, very first Premier Club model who I worked really hard to pay for and she's been in her box since August. It's Zafira. I could not bring myself to open her sooner. I think the internet spoiled her for me. There just were some things said about her that I can't unsee now that they've been pointed out. And a lot of people were finding a lot of flaws on her. I don't know if they're being extra picky or if they are legitimate factory errors. And for whatever reason, CCG does not ship west side orders. I feel like until the last. Everybody's had their models in hand for weeks by the time I finally get a shipping notification. So once she finally arrived, I was really disheartened and she stayed in her box until now. So I'm gonna get her out. I'm finally ready. And I've got all these other models that'd be really fun to unbox. I'm gonna start with a Johan. I've been waiting for this guy. Again, West Side, uh, it took him forever to show up, but I've got two of him. So let's start with one. box is so teeny. It's so tiny. Okay, and because I ordered him with a stable mate, it got sent in this bigger, nicer box. So if you order like a little blind bag along with your club models, then they'll ship in a more protective box. And this little teeny thing won't be shipped all by itself and possibly be crushed. I'm nervous. I can kind of tell, you can kind of tell through the bubbles. Let's see. Oh. oh. Yep. Okay, he is the little Appy. <laughs> Cute little guy. This little Lipizzan Stallion was a mid-1970s release from Chris Hess. I've been trying to find an original with a picture box, but I keep missing them. He's got little speckles all through his chestnut color, nice shading in his tail, nice blaze and pinking, pretty eyes, shading in his mane and some hoof stripes, belly spots. He's based off this painting by Johann Georg de Hamilton from the 18th century, and Breyer got it almost identical. He's honestly really nice. Okay, it's so funny because I looked right at this mold when I made my speculation video about who the next Gambler's Choice Classic would be, and I thought, nah. Let's give Zafira her long overdue turn of coming out of her box. The poor dear. Again, little blind bag, and she gets double boxed, and keeps them safe. Hey, her pretty box, oh. Here she is. She's really pretty. I don't see anything wrong with mine. She's the brand new Arabian mare sculpt by Brigitte Ibiro that was meant to come out earlier in 2022, but she had a bit of a delay. She's a really pretty liver chestnut with a tiny band, front right, and a sock on her left. Little ermine spots and hoof stripes. Spots and stripes and socks with mapping. Flax and mane and tail, a little star, very pretty eyes, 
spotty little snip, pink in her nostrils. It's hard to tell, but mine has very subtle dapples. She's pretty. Myla Pierce created Zephira's finish work. Here is her COA that all PC models come with. She's my very first model in my very first year of the Premier Club. I'm happy to have her. Now I'm going to open my very first custom, then we'll do the connoisseur model, and then one more Johan. I don't collect many customs. Um, I've followed this artist's work for a while. I really like their stuff. I just usually go OF. So this is my first traditional scale custom model. It's like, like a little freebie maybe? We'll open that too. Cool! It's like a fun sparkly resin cube. He's packed really well. He is smaller, if you couldn't tell. Oh, I must have a thing for the Wedgwood Blues because, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He is so sweet. Look at his face! His cute pink hooves! He is so great! I love him. I love him! This little guy is a custom by Joe Beth of Blue Horse Studio. He's on the Icelandic mold originally sculpted by Kathleen Moody from 2014. He's got the same peach flesh tone color in his nose as Briar OF Wedgwoods. The same in his hooves. The blue to white fade is done really well and there's even subtle shading in the blue. This is the artist's signature. Nice eye whites and a cute white face. We're gonna open my connoisseur. My very first connoisseur model. I've been really wanting to collect a few of these and I just haven't had the means. Um, so this guy's my first. I happened across a really good deal and the timing was right. This was his original box. This is inconspicuous. They all originally came with a COA, so if you are on the hunt for a connoisseur, um, and if you care about all the original pieces, they should have a COA. Oh, he is super cool. This guy sadly does look like he's maybe a little bit yellow. I think he lived with someone who smoked and it didn't do him any favors. I have heard that sunlight works to help turn yellow back to white, but that's on older models. I don't know if it works on this, on um, newer models like the Connoisseur series. They're, they're on the newer side and I, I don't know if the sunlight trick works on these guys or not. Um, if you know, will you let me know in the comments? I'm not sure. I know that if it doesn't work, it does the opposite and makes the yellowing even more yellow, so we don't want to do that. Isn't he cool? I think he's so handsome. Connoisseur models are kind of like Collector Club low-run lottery models with a little bit of Premier Club elements. 
The series ended in 2011 after issuing 50 different models, not including the variations within Joker's Wild. They were all limited to 350 pieces. To get one, you had to be a current subscriber to Briar's Just About Horses magazine, and certain issues, like this May-June issue from 2004, offered lottery entries for a chance to purchase one of the connoisseur models. You fill out this card and mail it back to Briar, and then check your mailbox every single day to see if you got a letter back saying you won. You then pay for and order your model, and Briar mails you your model with a velvet bag and COA. This guy is a beautiful gray pentaloosa on the Show Jumping Warm Blood Mold by Susan Carlton Sifton, also introduced in 2004. Though Inconspicuous has an alternate mane and tail from the original release, which had this braided mane and not as flowy of tail. He's got speckles and peacock spots in his Appaloosa blanket, hoof stripes. All of his white markings are intricately laid out. His COA states he's one of the most technically and artistically challenging pieces ever offered. Each piece was hand numbered. Mine is 185 of 350. Karen Williams was the artist behind his amazing design. One more Johan. I'm probably going to do a video like a blind bag palooza and just open a whole bunch of these blind bags that I get with all my club models. Oh my goodness. And these little guys. Preference. Um, I really, really love that bay. I really wanted a bay. The little Palomino really grew on me after seeing in hand pictures and very um, pearlescent and shimmery. I, I like the Palomino. I really like the paint and I love how it matches the painting. Like the markings are so close on the painting. Um, the Abbey might be my last choice. Still super cute. So let's see who this other one is. Oh, like I can't look. And I can't tell what I'm doing. That's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> He's still cute. My first connoisseur, my first classic gambler's choice, web special, my first custom, my very first PC model. I've bought a few models secondhand, but she's the first one that I paid for myself during club membership. I worked really, really hard to get her. I think I paid for her on the last day she was available before you're booted out of the club. So it was a little nerve wracking and then um, all the internet stuff happened. But see, the thing, the thing about all of these models is that they are works of art. An artist created these things. I mean, I think they're all incredible. I'm really happy to have all these guys. Thank you so much for watching. 